Today, in this episode of Mojo for Industry Development Debate on Factory Automation, sponsored by IFM Electronic and supported by Ease of Doing Business, experts from the industry will discuss on why adapting factory automation is essential. Ladies and gentlemen, before we get started, let me introduce you with our panelists for the day. We are pleased to join by Mr. Sachin Sanghi, Google Cloud. And then we are joined by Mr. Uh, Sudagar M at IFM Electronic India. And then we have Mr. Sandeep Roy, German Engineering Federation, that is VDMA India, to start with uh, Sachin. So could you highlight some of the challenges associated with uh, automation adoption in India? You are talking about cloud-based technologies, uh, you know, IT, OT integration. If we take a look at a profile of you know a, a typical company, which is probably 15 to 20 years in existence, uh, and gets counted as a small to medium industry. Uh, some of the first problems in automation that come about is the lack of available uh, resources to work with the different uh, data types that are available. So a lot of our machines tend to be coming from you know uh, outside. They could be used machines and they have data acquisition that is locked inside of it. Uh, so the data getting locked inside of it poses the first uh, barrier uh, to companies who try out and then the first roadblock they would read uh, they would encounter is uh, their uh, automation provider is struggling to get the requisite amount of data from the machine but lack of uh, access to capital at a at a cheap cost also doesn't make it very easy for companies to adopt automation yeah and my third point about automation is the lack of roi a lot of times the um, the directors of the companies and the managers that are working for them and the engineers who are managing the systems, they struggle to show that what will be the return on investment by investing in automation. Uh, Sandeep, would you like to add something else? We saw when the computer came in our life. At that time, this kind of you know fear among the people also there to lose the jobs. It is one of the sociological factors that also uh, influence the decision of adapting the uh, penetration of the automation uh, or to be precise, the factory automation in the Indian market, number one. Number two, uh, the traditional Indian culture of uh, businesses usually, you know, uh, kind of a, you know, a resistance to change as a, on a large scale to the human being. But if I talk about, since we are talking about the Indian context, this has been predominantly, it has been a part of the cultural shift, I would say, needs to be required, which is one of the factors also, apart from what, uh, if you need uh, automation to be implemented, we need to have a kind of a uh, good data connectivity, which is not spread across the India. We are talking about 5G. Sometimes we are unable to make calls to our each one of us and go outside. I think that, that I would like to add these three points complementing what the chief has mentioned. Mr. Sudagar, would you like to add something? Because there are six points already raised. In my view, implementation of automation technology by our customers, uh, I, we do not find any challenge right now. That means uh, customers are implementing automation technology everywhere. But the thing is, when they move from this normal automation technology to industry 4.0 kind of initiatives, there, the return of investments is the biggest question. So the solution providers of industry 4.0, they are not clear about what kind of return of investment they can commit to the actual user. That's a bigger challenge. So as a user, they are always concerned about the return of investment. So return of investment, uh, how they will calculate, that should be improvement in the OE, OE of their production process. That's where the clarity has to come. That's my view. Uh, Sachin, uh, you know, uh... Uh, Google, uh, Google is a global name. So one of the biggest challenges, both of you agree, rather Sandeep also agreed that you no, know, one of the biggest challenges facing Indian factories is the cost of automation technology. That is the capital what you are talking about. So how Google as an entity can address this issue? Can we make it affordable, something like that, under the framework of Google Cloud? So we work and we we help these startup companies uh, again with our structure and giving them credits. Uh, so that they can create their sensors and build on top of that an industry 4.0 gateway and build a ta an application on top of that. So a lot of that burden on a company that is making a gateway or a sensor, uh, they can they can knock on the doors of Google Cloud and qualify for some uh, qualify for a startup program and make sure that their business uh, gets off the ground. Right. 
Uh, Sudhagi, you were talking about you know, uh, raising concern about the return on investment. Uh, so at IFM, uh, how are you dealing with this? Uh, what sort of uh, you know, information or rather how you are approaching uh, the small and medium companies with uh, you know, to show them that the value addition, what it brings when you add up factory automation? Uh, that's what we work closely with the customers just to calculate their downtime and the production loss caused by the production loss cost also. So that's how we work with our customers. But uh, like Mr. Sachin said, people still concerned about giving their data to the cloud. So we have come up with a solution called where the, even the industry 4.0 can be analyzed, stored, processed in the customer premises itself that they can use their own servers. So we give this kind of innovative solutions and they don't need any external exports to do this programming or data analytics. You give up with a lot of add-on softwares like which can be integrated with the existing SAP also. And it has uh, own AI intelligent uh, software also. All this can be done by their customers. So they don't need any, any external IT expert to all these things. Everything will be under customer's control. So all these points help us to do a better business uh, in this challenging field. I, th I think all of you agree that you no know, MSMEs are the backbone of Indian manufacturing sector, and I think the biggest challenge come from there. So, uh, why more and more MSMEs would adopt factory automation? What sort of value addition it will bring for them? Uh, because quality is going to be the mantra, I think. Uh, Sachin, um, for MSMEs who may just have you know three or four machines with maybe more, not more than seven or ten rotating parts. Um, for someone like them to go and afford a sensor and an application becomes quite difficult. Um, so there is uh, there is a demand in the market where uh, custom while, where the manufacturers are asking that give me a solution that is very easy to start. Uh, maybe each each uh, application could be under thousand rupees a month, for example. So so there are there are examples in the industry. They're around Bombay, Delhi. You talk about various places. They work with Google Cloud. They don't work with Google Cloud. They work with Amazon Azure. Where companies are coming in, uh, just for MSMEs, they have a very low cost um, uh, sensor sensorization of their machines in order to get the status, and they don't charge you for the for the metal at all. So so you just subscribe to the application for condition monitoring, for predictive maintenance, for any anomaly alerts. And the company brings in the sensor, and as long as you keep the subscription, you just pay. When you stop paying, you have to ship back the sensor. And uh, Sandeep, uh, well, as an association member, VDMA, uh, IFM is one of your partner. So, uh, how you, you are uh, trying to, uh, rather, encouraging MSMEs or other uh, companies to adopt automation uh, in their facilities? In Germany, uh, MSME is the backbone of the industry. They call it the metal star. So in other way, we promote the German MSME companies to promote in India also. And to do that, uh, we take supports from members like IFM as our knowledge partner to share knowledge. But the direct exchange of views happen to disperse if you have any misconception or any myth about a particular implementation of automation in their factories, apart from the ROI point. But that is the next level, actually. But before that, we need to have a clarity in terms of whether the automation will benefit me or not. So right. here, VDMA plays a very a concrete role in India to, you know, to build up the ideas about, about the implementation of the automation. So before summing it up, uh, can I ask all of you, all the panelists, to share your concluding remarks on today's topic on the, of the discussion. Why adopting factory automation is essential? Okay. Start with Sachin. Factory automation, it is very evident, uh, you know, look at the great sensors that IFM has and look at the technology that uh, German technology that is being promoted by VDMA. Um, it is not a choice anymore. Um, we are a country that is on the upswing. We want to compete uh, with the rest of the world. Um, the China plus one strategy is what is working out in our favor like anything else. So uh, so I think I think it is um, it is just our imagination on how fast and how far we can go. Right. Sandeep? Uh, I think uh, when we had the adaptation of the computer in the 90s, uh, I think next generations will have the automation adaptation uh, for the uh, world most populated country. So that will be a case study for the rest of the world. How are 
coexistence between the population and the occupation exists for the world. Right. I think uh, that's really the fault. Yeah. Yes. Right. So, Mr. Sudhakar, your uh, chance to score the winning run. <laughs> <laughs> what I would say is implementation of automation technology in the manufacturing process is inevitable. You cannot avoid that. Uh, the days are changing, the technologies are evolving into a different level. But today I could understand some very good inputs from Mr. Sachin uh, about OT to IT integration. That's a very interesting thing. I could learn something. Uh, even our participants also could have learned so many new things from uh, Mr. Sachin. And Sandeep gave a very good overview about this market potential of these automation technologies. Right. And uh, thank you, Roy. Thank you for giving this opportunity also. Thank you. Oh, thank, thank you. Thank you once again, Mr. Sachin, Mr. Sandeep and Mr. Sudhagar for your participation and sharing your experts' opinion on today's topic. So we thank sponsor for the session, IFM Electronic, of course. And we also thank Ease of Doing Business for supporting this event. For more updates, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.